from the attention of Kyogo. Ryan Strain collects the, the header though. Brings it into space on the right hand side. He's got Marco Hara behind him in support. And options in the middle. Oh, boy, he finds Scott Tanza. In turn, he's got Greg Kelty in space. He'll look to find the space for the cross, which he does. He finds his man! Yes! Conor McHerrin! The Northern Irish win with his first goal in St Mun Colours. And just like it happened in May, St Mun have the lead. What a header from McMenamin and that ball from Kelty. Boyd Munns finds his man in acres of space on the left hand side. A perfect right foot cross finds McMenamin in space. McMenamin finds the side netting. Celtic Park is stunned. A few funny looks from the hospitality beside us as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He could be in for an interesting <laughs> evening. What a way for Conor McMenamin to open his account for the Saints. Then has the ball on his right foot. Cute pass to O'Reilly who's got Taylor in support. O'Reilly does well. Finds Turnbull. Yeah! Turnbull yeah, finds the top the corner. Way. It's an excellent finish from the former Motherwell man. We did say he has a habit of scoring against us. Forrest here. It's a clever pass. It's a turned over by a Saints defender. The claims, I think, are for a penalty from the Celtic side. Another handball, they're claiming, I think. Will, of course, be checked. Stephen Robinson calling over his captain, Mark O'Hara, and his central midfield partner, Boyd Munns. Quite a passionate discussion. Zach Hemming has saved the penalty this season before against Dundee. John Beaton's made That's his decision. Point to the spot, I think. I expect so. And he does. And that. And he hits the post. Hemming saves the rebound. And it's right. Oh, save from Hemming there. Brilliant from the Saints keeper. Forced back again to Phillips. It's a clever touch from Kyogo. That's a good and to all. It's a well-worked goal from Celtic.